Hello, welcome to my first video of 2025 and I've been working tirelessly on a Raspberry Pi 5 and what an amazing menu theme I've put on it. I'll give the entire sweep through of this menu right at the very end of this video. But for now, let's see what the Pi 5 can do. Straight off the bat, one very big brownie point for the Pi 5 is it can actually handle some Wii games. Another big surprise for me is it actually plays GameCube. The Zelda game, The Twilight Princess, does have a few audio issues now and again, as do some of the other GameCube games. Some fare better, some fare worse. It's a bit of the same story with Wii also, but still, having them is the good thing. And another good thing is Dreamcast pushing at 1.5 times resolution. It will actually push a little more, but it's quite safe at 1.5. How about PSP at double resolution? Which is a godsend, because having Batasera on a retro pie, you will not get PS2. PS1 tripling the upscale. Yes, the Pi 5 has Saturn played on it. Not only that, it's upscaled four times, but this is a cost of audio issues. It will upscale better at double resolution. Now I do believe that Hotel Barrio is exclusive on the Philips CDI. From such a tiny little box, it has absolutely impressed me, this thing. The Pi 5 is now pushing towards the realms of the older i3 mini PCs. It's not quite in competition with the 4th Gen i3, but it's certainly going to give it a run for its money. It's a shame there's no PS2, but hey, you've got GameCube, you've got Wii. Thank you. 